hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to upload CSV files from local host to the remote server and the server is GoDaddy right now if you notice I'm in the local host now my aim in this video is I will create one file upload control and one button control after designing and coding I will upload this file into my the real host and servers.com right now if you check oops could not find the page file is not available in the remote server let's go to my asp.net source code to design the web page now i'm in the source code of my asp.net application if you notice the source code contains only one h1 tag as i said before to upload the files into your remote server we need one the file upload control The file upload control after that you need a button and the button name I'll give it button save save on the server I'm adding a class of CSS CC button and also I'm adding one label control to check the message as successfully saved in the server or not so label I'm giving the label ID is label success remove the text message build the project so far the designing part is finished let's check in the browser how it looks the designing part here in the local host browser the designing part looks like this let's go back to my application go to solution explorer in the files folder there is employee.csv file employee.csv file contains some table this is the data in the employee.csv file. Now I want to upload this file into the GoDaddy SQL server. I just log on into my GoDaddy web hosting. Click web admin to connect our database. After logging to my little admin for SQL server, in the databases section, user databases, this is the user database I have created under my host and server user database click tables EMP open table right now in the EMP table there is no records so the table is totally empty I want I want my employee.csv table file to save into dbo.emp now let's start the coding part to save my files into EMP table on the remote server. Now in the code behind, import four namespaces using system dot ivo using system dot data dot data using system dot data dot SQL client and using system dot configuration after adding the four namespaces we need a button click event to create a button click event go to the designing part double click the button it will generate event of the button click in the button click event string main connection is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings dot connection string after that I'm using SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes the parameter of the main connection now 
using now you have to use a class SQL bulk copy class SQL BKCPY object new SQL bulk copy which takes a parameter of SQL connection SQL BK copy dot destination table is equals to here in the destination table the destination table in my SQL server is dbo.emp paste here SQL connection dot open SQL bulk copy dot write to server method after that connection SQL connection dot close now come to the top string file path is equals to server dot map path the path is the files folder This is a path, the files folder. Plus path dot get file name. This get file name is file upload. File upload one dot poster file dot file name the file one file upload path one dot save as the file path file path now we need to create a data table the table is equals to new data table d table dot columns dot add range method new data column the data column in my table has three the data column has three new new data column is the first one is the table name the ID ID comma type of integer values new data column and the second column is copy this employee name type of data type of is string new data column occupation type of string We need to create a string data is equals to file dot read all text this file path. 
we have to read the file path of for each string row in in data dot split create a new row if the string dot is null or empty so is null if string dot is null or empty row data table dot rows dot add int i is equals to zero for each string cell in row dot split dt table dot rows b table dot rows dot count minus one of the i is equals to cell i plus plus now here the bulk copy write to server we need to copy this dt table data table we need to see d table d table the so dt table the here the connection string takes the parameter of godaddy sql server connection string we can get in the web.config file copy this my connection paste here F6 build the project. Too many characters. Of Sorry, should be the other side. Here, remove this thing. Now I build the project. Now there is no error. Now it's time to upload this file into my remote server. I just logged into my FileZilla FTP server to connect to the remote server. This is my local host and this is the remote side. In the remote side, there is no any files folder. So create a files folder, create directory files and the files are these two files we just created refresh now the two files are in the remote server now let's check in the browser so in the browser this is a file we just uploaded into my remote server enter choose file employee csv file before i save on the server we will check the dbo.emp is zero refresh the file refresh the table sorry refresh the table still there is no any data let's go back to the browser now save this file now save employee.csv on the server Here we forgot one thing the label message we have not set here but uh, we'll check in the browser now go back to the SQL server refresh the page see here it is Jack Peter Chris James Ganesh Ravi Kumar and Kiran 
so this is a csv file now in the sql server that's it thank you for watching my video if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos